Yeah. All right, so uh, my name is Roberto May. I'm a Canadian producer. I co-produced the film Project M. Also did art directing and uh, acted in it. Sure, so it's four astronauts in space uh, doing a test uh, mission for feasibility of a voyage through uh, Europa, one of uh, Jupiter's moons. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything goes well when something goes wrong on Earth. Yeah, I play the uh, Russian astronaut. Well, it all started with uh, us being fans of sci-fi. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no sci-fi movies, well, not much French sci-fi movies in Canada. So uh, being fans, we just wrote a, uh, a script. Started up with uh, social medias. Uh, Sci-fi is very, uh, how do you say that? Uh, very, not popular, but it brings people in, draws people in. So uh, there's a lot of curiosity around it. And uh, sci-fi fans are real good fans. So uh, we started up by asking people, what if? Uh, we did a sci-fi movie uh, in Canada, in French, and people just started answering, and we asked people what are the to-dos and not to-dos in script, what they would like to see, and then the creators just started writing uh, about four astronauts in space. And uh, then uh, we started uh, doing the, uh, the set. Of course, uh, nobody had real experience with set building, and uh, we just had to, uh, to uh, try to build a space station in a 1970s warehouse uh, with crooked floors and everything. So uh, we got people in, our families, family members, uh, good friends. And after a while, we noticed that we weren't going to make it to, uh, to the shooting schedule. So uh, again, with social medias, we just said, how would you like to come on a set? And people came in, some people just said, uh, listen, I can't hold a hammer, but uh, I could do the dishes. So, uh, yeah, sure, okay, why not? So uh, there was a lot of people. We had, like, about 90 volunteers coming in just to build a set. We had some uh, professional painters, uh, some professional art directors that came in as well to help. So this is how we did it. So we went from uh, what was planned to be a 1,500 square feet space station and we build it at 4,500 uh, square feet station. Wow. So uh, the fact was uh, we said that uh, it should look like a space station walking in or else there, there was not going to be any movies. Uh, we want it to look professional no matter how the budget was low. Uh, right now we're going to Vancouver next week. Uh, we're also at the American film market right now with a, our distributor. Uh, we're looking to sell either a spin-off, a remake, or uh, the movie as it is. Uh, the movie has been sold to uh, Japan, so that's going to be funny because uh, you'll see a French Canadian uh, with um, Italian origins uh, playing a Russian <laughs> dubbed in Japanese, so that's going to be quite funny. <laughs> uh, so what's next? We're going to also to Toulouse uh, Film Festival. And uh, then we're trying for the, uh, also to get into the uh, International Digital Emmy Awards uh, taking place in Cannes. The project was first released on web, oh, okay. as web episodes, because it was easier for us to get funding. And uh, also then we did the, the movie format uh, that got out on TV as well. So that's why you keep on seeing every, around 10 minutes, uh, a hook or uh, something happening to the characters that keeps you for the next episode. Uh, it was important for us to get four different actors, like two women and two men, and uh, that are really uh, uh, complementary. Uh, there's no villains, there's no good guys, there's no, it's always the gray line that is driven and what is good or what is bad, but you know, we always try to uh, be character oriented. And uh, I, we, we don't pretty much like to use villains. Uh, inside our film, so we, we try to uh, do it as, as human as possible.